next we're going to talk about standard deviation. So the first thing I want to say is that I am going to have you calculate the standard deviation a couple times by hand in the homework. After that, we're going to use a generalized rule of thumb that I'm going to go over in this section. You can also calculate the standardized devi standard deviation in Excel, um, so you do not have to calculate it by hand. If you look at your graphing calculator manual, I believe there's also a way to do this in your graphing calculator. So let's talk about what the standard deviation is because I want us to have more of a generalized understanding of what it means than to have it 100% memorized how to calculate it by hand. So statisticians use standard deviation to describe variation with a single number. Like this is a really important number for statisticians. It's most commonly used to describe the variation. Remember variation is the difference in our data values. So here's the formula for this standard deviation and let me break it down. So S is our conventional symbol for standard deviation of a sample. Remember our sample is a subset of the population. X bar is the average, also the mean. That It is said X bar, by the way. Okay. X is each, each specific data value. N is our total number of data values and sigma, this is the Greek letter sigma, identifies the sum. So what am I doing when I find the standard deviation? So from every single data value, I'm subtracting the mean. And remember, I've got some values that are less than the mean, some values that are greater than the mean. So in order to make sure I don't have any negatives, I square that number. Then I take the sum, which means I add them all together. I then divide that by the total number of data values, minus one. And then to undo the squares that I just created, I take the square root. So what I'm trying to do is get an average of how far each data value is from the mean. So I have a worked out example I'm going to talk us through for the next few slides. Then we're going to calculate the standard deviation ourselves. Then we're going to learn a rule of thumb, which is what we'll use in class in order to make our lives easier, right? You need to understand what the standard deviation is. You do not need to memorize how to calculate this. I cannot reiterate that enough. So steps to finding the standard deviation. So the first thing you need to do is find your mean. That's your X bar. Then you're going to find the deviations from the mean. That's taking each data value minus the mean. You're then squaring all the deviations from the mean, right? This is to remove any like negatives. You then take the sum. That's what we do with sigma. We divide the sum by the total number of data values, n minus 1, and take the square root of this quotient. That means like fraction, right? So we're taking the square root of what's underneath our radical symbol. So let's calculate the standard deviation for the following sample of scores on a 15 point quiz. So the first thing I did was I found the mean. I did that by taking the sum of all my data values divided by the total number of data values, which in this case were one, two, three, four. So I get a mean of 10.75. Typically, 10.75 is perfect. I wouldn't go any more than two decimal points. It's just going to make your life really messy. So feel free to round. I then find the deviations from the mean. So I take each data value minus the mean. So 11 minus 10.75 is 0.25. 9 minus 10.75 is negative 1.75. 8 minus 10.75 is negative 2.75. And 15 minus 10.75 is 4.25. I then find the squares, right? We took the difference and then we squared them all. So I'm going to take the squares. That means 0.25 squared is 0 0.0625. Negative 1.75 squared is um, 3.0625. I didn't round it in this case, but you could. The more, the less you round until the very, very end, the more accurate um, your standard deviation will be.
negative 0.275 squared is 7.5625 and 4.25 squared is 18.0625. So I took all those and squared them. The next thing we have to do is find the sum of all of these deviations from the mean. So I'm going to go ahead and add them together. I add them all up and I get 28.75. That's my sum. I then divide this sum by the total number of data values minus 1. So I had four data values. We take away 1. 28.75 equals 9.56666. Da, 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 da. It goes on and on forever. Now, luckily for you and your graphing calculators, you'll keep this number. So I could take this so I can maintain my accuracy. Precision? Accuracy. So I take the square root of 9.568, and I get 3.096 is our standard deviation. So that's on average how far away a data value is from the mean.